Hi guys, and welcome back to another edition of what has joined my movie collection. Um, so everything I'm going to showcase today has arrived through October. Um, and last month, guys, I, yeah, I kind of switched up the format a little bit. I started with the bust editions and then left the premiums until last. Um, I did kind of rush the premiums in last video and I wasn't quite happy with that. So I'm going to go back to my traditional way of doing things where I start with the premium editions. And seeing as we've just celebrated Halloween, I thought we would start with this awesome edition from Everything Blue, a company in the UK, that custom makes these slip covers for the steelbook releases. So this is obviously the new release of Halloween, uh, last year's release, and they're currently filming the sequel at the moment, Halloween Kills, which I'm looking forward to. And this edition came with the McFarlane Steelbook, which I absolutely love. So didn't own this Steelbook before and I knew it, everything blue were going to release it in this slipcover. So I was happy to just wait a few months for this one to arrive. And it's absolutely awesome. Inside is the 4K disc as well as some custom postcards as well for the Steelbook. And it also came with this pretty cool poster as well, which uh, I've been trying to flatten out at the moment and find a framework for this one because the artwork's very cool on that. So I have to find somewhere nice to hang that one. And obviously with these premiums for me, it's all about the artwork on the custom slip covers. And this one is an absolute beauty, just like everything uh, that Everything Blue do. And the embossing is just absolutely insane. As you can see that I like picking it up there in the trees and in Michael's sort of jumpsuit. Um, and then on the back again, we've got another version of Michael looking down at the camera, sort of with the moon in the background. It's very menacing and very, very cool. So yeah, this one is awesome. There's been quite a few releases now of this um, newer version of Halloween, this sort of sequel to the John Carpenter's original. And this is now one of my favorites. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, Everything Blue have made this one a little bit thinner compared to some of the other releases like King Kong and Casino, which is out soon. Um, but yeah, it's still, it's a very cool release for the 4K edition. And it was limited to 600 in the world and it did sell out on pre-order. So unfortunately you can't just jump on the Everything Blue store now and pick this one up. But uh, like a lot of these premiums, there are sort of aftermarket sellers who uh, who buy more than, uh, more than they need um, in order to sell them on so if you do really like this edition then you can always track it down that way um, and hopefully get one for a good price so yeah that was awesome so i thought we'd start with halloween now next up in the premium range is this absolutely gorgeous one click box for one of my favorite animated movies of recent years into the spider-verse so this is from blue fans a company in china and they make some absolutely gorgeous steel books, some custom steel books. Their lenticulars can be a little bit hit and miss, um, especially sort of in the past sort of recent months. Um, they've sort of stepped up their game and they've got back to the, the previous quality they were known for. Um, and in this case, yeah, this is uh, just them back on track, which is awesome. So it's got a magnet that clips the box in place. I've shown off a few of these one-click boxes, but this one there from Blue Fans is a, a very nice addition for this movie. And inside, typically, we've got the full slip, single lenticular, and double lenticular, and also um, art cards and posters and things like that. So if we just slide these additions out, I'll show them off one by one. Awesome. Typically, guys, like I always say this, I won't, uh, I won't get these postcards out right now because... Um, uh, it would, uh, it would take a long time to go through everything that you get in these premium editions and they do stock them full of awesome sort of editions. So um, at the moment, these videos more are about the artwork to show off sort of what editions you can get in these. So we will start with the double lenticular. Now this cover is absolutely stunning. The uh, sort of the explosion in the background, I guess the yellowy orange tint from the, I guess the, could be the Hydron Collider or the bottom of the city, the way they're on the side of a building. Um, yeah, it just brings out the foreground of the characters. I think that's absolutely stunning. So very deep. Um, and on, on the back, we've got Miles swinging through the city. And that's also very cool again. So some Blue Fans releases in the past, their lenticulars have, 
particulars have been a little bit hit and miss, a little bit pixelated if you look up close, but this one looks very sharp, very crisp and detailed. So that is my favorite of these three. And that does have the 4K steelbook inside. Now inside all three of these editions is the same steelbook. So I'll get to, I'll get it out on the one that I've actually opened just to show you. But this edition is the single lenticular which swaps between the three characters. We've got Gwen or Spider Gwen, we've got Peter, and we've got Miles. So um, blue fans, they always sort of release um, a premium edition with these sort of rotating lenticulars between characters. Um, one of my favorites was for Lego Batman because it switched between four characters and so did Thor Ragnarok. So this one they've decided to go with three and it is very, very cool, very cool. And then on the back, is the this artwork here which has some slight embossing and some glossing as well which is nice when the light catches it but uh, honestly if you're going to be displaying these sort of front facing you're always going to pick the lenticulars because it is it is awesome especially when you're walking around the room and you're walking past and the characters are changing it's uh, it's almost like a video playing which is uh, pretty cool that's why i like these and last but not least we've got a black and white sort of custom slip which uh, this artwork was uh, sort of unique to blue fans um so obviously referencing nicholas cage's character or noir spider-man um yeah so this one is very cool as well so i actually opened this one to have a look at the steel so i will bring that out there's also sort of character cards and uh, booklets as well but this is the custom steel book that blue fans made for this release and so again it's got some beautiful embossing on the actual title as well and uh, the outer border so yeah miles again jumping down obviously from a great height if we flip it upside down we can see he's sort of heading back down towards the city so i absolutely love this steel book it's very cool the only place you could get this artwork um this one on the back this artwork was used for film arena's release i believe i have seen that one before but it is a very nice uh, nice back sort of glossy cover but yeah it was all about this uh, this steel book it's the only place you can get it was from blue fans so yeah very very nice and i absolutely love this movie i think this uh, this style of animation has um sort of given way to so many cool artworks for this release and so many companies have released it there's so many awesome editions and i love the movie so um, I can promise you guys there is another one on the way as well. So this isn't the last time we're going to be seeing Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse um, in my monthly videos. But uh, yeah, I think it's absolutely a beautiful movie. Now, I also picked up, last but not least, in the premium range from the Ultra HD Club were these Matrix Trilogy editions. Now, I already had the Matrix. This released a few months ago. So this one, I'm kind of showing it off now. Even though it didn't arrive in October, these two did Reloaded and Revolution. So it's kind of finished the finished the full set now. Um, so these were from Ultra HD Club. And I purchased these through a group buy on Media Psychos. So a uh, very nice gentleman there who runs the uh, Singapore hub helped me out in receiving these and the same uh, the same numbers they are numbered editions for all three so that's very cool as well um these don't actually have steel books inside them they're just sort of uh, plastic amore type cases um but yeah i have already watched these movies in 4k before i think the picture qualities are absolutely stunning i know the sequels aren't as well received as the original but they are classics in sort of modern cinema and uh, watching them as a trilogy I, I absolutely adore doing it. i've done it a few times now and i think the movies are great and um, also came with uh, booklets as well and again art cards similar to how these premiums go um yeah so these sort of faux leather boxes are also very nice to touch as well the material it feels very quality and the print on them is very nice as well so the green and the blacks do sort of lend well to this sort of material so they're very awesome releases for the matrix trilogy so i'll pop them aside and next up guys we will start with standard blu-ray releases that i have picked up during the month so first of all an order from amazon.com from the states the haunting of hill house so i missed this when it was on netflix um or just never got around to watching it not that i missed it it's still on there um but i never got around to watching it and now that this released as an extended director's cut i think a few of the episodes are extended so um yeah i, I kind of like horror tv shows um so this one sounded like it was right up my street so i picked this one up very cool and this I'm excited to, to watch. First time Adam's Family Values has been on Blu-ray. And considering Blu-ray's been out now for 
12, 13 years maybe? 2007, I think, maybe was the first Blu-ray I got. The first time it's been out on Blu-ray. So um, a great double bill here is going to... Um, I'm going to enjoy that probably one Sunday afternoon. If I've got some free time, I'll watch both of them back to back. I do enjoy these movies. So uh, yeah, Adam's Family and Adam's Family Values. Now, last but not least from Amazon.com was Doom Annihilation. <laughs> now, um, yeah, not, not the best movie. Um, again, based on a computer game, uh, the computer game curse. But it is better than the Rock and Carl Urban version from uh, from many years ago. Um, believe it or not, it's actually got a lot uh, a lot to like, especially for fans of the game. It's got coloured key cards. It's got the chainsaw. It's got the BFG. It's got the portal to Mars, and then. I assume it was to hell at the end. That wasn't quite made clear to me. But uh, yeah, the imps as well with the fireballs. It was all practical effects. It was guys in suits. But, you know, from a from a lover of horror movies from the 80s and from practical effects, I actually had a great time watching this. Um, more than I did watching the, uh, the first sort of Doom movie. So as much as I couldn't really recommend it to friends, I actually did have quite a good time watching this. It was better than I thought, especially for the uh, for the budget. It kind of felt like the studios maybe just pushed it into production just to keep the rights to the movie, but what they ended up with was pretty good, I think. Um, the Institute, I don't know anything about this, but I, I do like James Franco, so I picked this up cheap in the JB Hi-Fi sale. So there was another 20% off sale this month at JB Hi-Fi. Um, so I did pick up quite a lot of these in that sale, including Long Shot, one of the newer movies with uh, Seth Rogen and Charlize Theron. Um, this was two for 30 with 20% off as well. So again, I got it for a good price. So um, that should make one entertaining, funny evening. Um, the Blob as well, the remake of The Blob, the one with Kevin Dillon um, from Entourage and Shawnee Smith as well from, um, from Saw movies. Um, I haven't seen this. I know Scream, I think Scream Factory have just released this as a collector's edition. Um, I picked up the Umbrella version here in Australia just because it was very cheap and I don't own a copy of it. And I've seen the Steve McQueen original and I do like it. So the fact I've never actually seen this um, is a bit shocking. So I thought, yeah, I'll grab it and then um, I'll get around to watching it when I can. Also picked up The Man Who Killed Hitler and then Bigfoot, old Sam Elliott, great voice. Um, so this one I've heard good things about, but uh, haven't seen the trailer. I kind of avoided sort of any promotional material for it, so I don't really know what to expect. But from what I've um, heard from other people who've watched it, they enjoyed it. Now, two absolutely awesome movies I watched this month were Crawl and The Pool. So I've said before, guys, I'm a huge sort of creature feature fan. I like uh, sort of humans, man versus nature and um, survival and um, crawl. I thought was absolutely brilliant. It's it's not an award winner by any means, but for pure entertainment, for the type of movies I enjoy, I enjoyed every second of it. I mean, it was only on for about an hour and 20 odd minutes, but it was incredible. Alexander Arja, the director, I mean, he started, I think the first one I saw was Switchblade Romance, and then he went to Hollywood and he did the remake of The Hills Have Eyes. Um, and he also did Piranha, I think. Yeah. Um, but I'm working with Sam Raimi as well, Evil Dead, Sam Raimi. I mean, the two names, just I knew this was going to be incredible. And um, it was from start to finish. The the alligators are so ferocious in it. You know, they're just <laughs> they're ultimate killing machines in it. And the fact that it's such a claustrophobic movie, you know, pitting uh, the young girl and her father in almost in the basement for the entire movie of the house trying to get out i i loved every second of it i can't praise it enough so i missed it at the cinema i, I did want to go see it but uh, here in launceston um in tasmania our local cinema only had a showing at night at about nine o'clock at night and typically if there isn't a showing straight after work me i am usually at home in my pajamas at that time so i'm not usually one for going to the cinema too late <laughs> i just can't stay awake anymore but uh yeah i'm happy i picked up crawl and um, this one the pool uh, another sort of alligator man versus alligator movie now this one is a taiwanese movie and i had to import this from hong kong from play asia um i read an article on bloody disgusting they reviewed it out of monster fest i think or one of the horror festivals that's just recently happened um, and I watched the trailer and it was amazing. Um, and so I had to track it down and luckily there was actually a Blu-ray release um, from Hong Kong. So uh, swimming pool um, has been drained. And unfortunately there's a guy who's trapped in there. His girlfriend also jumps in just at the time when the water's too, it's too shallow for her to get out. The water's been drained and um, an alligator comes along and gets in the pool with them. So again, it's a fight for survival. Um, lots of over the top 
scenes in it, some um, hard to sort of believe what happened scenes, but for pure entertainment, I thought it was absolutely a brilliant movie. I enjoyed my time with this from start to finish. So if you like creature features, then this one is amazing. So yeah, you wait, uh, wait a long time for two alligator or an alligator movie to come along and two come along at once. Also picked up Annabelle Comes Home. So not as good, I thought, as um, Annabelle Creation, the sequel, which was a prequel. Um, but it, it had some good interesting scenes in it. I would have liked to have seen sort of more of the ferryman. I thought he was quite well sort of uh, developed. And I think a, a spin-off movie um, of that, I think, would go down well. To a degree, though, it didn't really feel like an Annabelle movie. Um, it felt more like it was just plugging all of these new spin-offs that they could come up with, similar to how they've sort of done with The Nun, After The Conjuring, you know, that type of thing. So um, I kind of enjoyed my time with it, but I didn't think it was as good as Creation. Um, also picked up Deadwood, the movie. Uh, one of my favourite TV shows, and I've said this before, I'm not a huge Western fan, so the fact that Deadwood is one of my favourite TV shows is a, a bit crazy. But this was incredible to see these characters again after 10 years all the men look like they've aged by about 30 years and the women still look the same al swearinger and seth bullock we've got old hurst there um i just absolutely love this movie um i think al swearinger um is one of the greatest tv show characters ever devised um, it's probably going to make me sound a little bit dumb. Um, sometimes some of the dialogue in the show and in this movie sort of goes over my head a little bit. I'm not quite sure what they're talking about. But just the uh, the swearing itself and just following from the actions of the characters, you, you kind of understand what's going on. And um, yeah, I absolutely adore Deadwood. And this movie was a long time coming. I think, is it David Milch? I think the creator. Um, unfortunately, I think he's uh, he's got Alzheimer's now, so it was kind of now or never for him to write the movie. So I'm glad this sort of came out. It did kind of leave me wanting even more, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy they did sort of return to it and all the characters that were still alive. Unfortunately, Powers Booth has passed, so he couldn't come back as Cy Tolliver, but um, I did enjoy it, so that was good. Um, also picked up The Strangers. Now, this one was strange. Because I have the sequel, The Strangers Pray at Night, and since I've been moving my movie collection around in alphabetical order, I realised I didn't actually own a copy of The Strangers, but uh, I had The Strangers 2 sitting on the shelf, so I went out and got this one really cheap in the JB sale just to have with it, so um, yeah, I kind of, kind of helped doing this uh, alphabetical order thing, finding or not finding movies that I thought I had that I didn't. Um, also got The Witches. Now, this was one of the ones that I imported from America as well. Um, on Blu-ray, picture quality was incredible. Um, <laughs> watched this as a kid many times. So this is one of my childhood favourites. And uh, that classic scene in the uh, the conference room in the hotel where the witches all sort of take off their masks and the wigs and the shoes. And um, the, the amount of men that's in that scene dressed as bald women, I'd never even realised or picked up on that before when I was a kid. It's not something I think you really sort of take in. Um, but watching this on Blu-ray, <laughs> there's probably only about five women in the whole audience and the rest are all men, which is uh, which was new to me. I thought that was quite interesting to see that. Um, so, yeah, picking up things in this movie that I'd never noticed when I was a kid. And it is sort of a classic movie, Nicholas Roeg movie. Um, so really did enjoy that. And I think they're making a remake at the moment. So whether or not it'll have the same magic, I'm not sure. But uh, I did enjoy watching that again when that one arrived. And last but not least, a freebie from a friend here in Australia. We were talking about the new... Michael Caine, uh, the Italian job box set that's getting released, they're releasing the really nice sort of, I think it might be a 50th anniversary edition or um, coming out soon in the future. And we were talking about this remake and I said that I hadn't seen it in years and I'd have to track it down on Blu-ray. And then a few days later, it turns up in the post. He had a copy that he didn't want anymore. So a big shout out to him for sending me that as a gift. Great guy. Right, guys, we will jump next on to the special labels. I've got a few special labels uh, this month. So this was also from a friend here in Australia. He was selling these 88 editions, uh, these early Jackie Chan movies, still sealed, that he had in his collection. Um, so he was selling these for a good price. So I jumped on and got all three of these, To Kill With Intrigue, Snake and Crane, Arts of Shaolin, and... Battle Creek Ball Brawl. So yeah, I, uh, I kind of eyed these up on the 88 Films website previously, and I did want to add sort of more Jackie Chan to the collection. I've only got some of his sort of more recent Hollywood um, movies. So I was thinking of picking these up anyway, but then one of my friends put on Facebook that he was selling these. Um, so jumped on them. So very happy that these arrived safe. So big shout out to him for the sale and for packing really well. So looking forward to giving those a go. 
Now, picked up a few Arrow box sets this month that arrived, and the first one was Old Boy. And uh, what Arrow did with this one, they bundled it in with Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance and Lady Vengeance as well. So this is primarily, though, it's an Old Boy box set, um, which is a very cool design, sort of like the elevator doors, which can open up from either side to show off the box set and lots of production material, a hardback book in there as well. So Old Boy is one of those movies that seems to have been released so many times, different countries, different box sets. So um, I do have already have an early sort of, um, might have been an Anchor Bay edition maybe, um, a DVD box set that actually came with the hammer, <laughs> or model of the hammer, which is very nice. But yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this one a go. I think it might have had a new restoration from Arrow as well. So yeah, very, very cool. And Old Boy is such an amazing movie. One of the earliest sort of foreign movies that I watched that just blew me away so very happy to have that one also pick this up from America Alice Sweet Alice a classic horror movie from the 70s and a sort of American horror movie with a, a twist sort of keeps you guessing over sort of the whodunit is it the uh, is it the young twin sister who murdered her sister at a uh, commune at, uh, at church or is it uh, something else going on so yeah Alice Sweet Alice this is awesome um, 88 films did a release of this as part of their slasher range um, which was was okay it was okay but the quality the picture quality on this one far out, uh, exceeds that one the, the color on this and just the actual sort of sharpness of this picture it's like it was filmed yesterday so um, Arrow wins this one in terms of picture quality um, and restoration on this movie and um, yeah it's a, it's a great one so that was awesome and last but not least as part of the Arrow range was this Mario Barva box set so this came out not too long ago and immediately went out of print um, whether or not they didn't make enough of them or there was a lot of collectors who jumped on this box set um, so this went out of print very quickly and I hadn't pre-ordered it I do have a few of these individually in the Arrow collection so I kind of left it expecting to be able to pick up the box set um, in the future in maybe like a, a buy one get one free sale or something like that and then it went out of print so I missed out and luckily as one of my horror groups here in Australia, there's a, a young guy called Matthew um, who also has his own YouTube channel um, called Amateur Filmies. So check them out. They are new. He does it with his partner, Sarah, and uh, great videos. And I've been talking to him and Sarah. Um, and he posted back up in the horror group that this had come back up on Zavi, limited stock available. And as soon as he posted that up, I jumped at the chance to, to grab it. So, yeah, it's fantastic. It's uh, released in this kind of like hard back cardboard booklet all the discs slotted in which is very cool and a book all about mario barva's work as well so uh, he's made some classic uh, italian movies so yeah very very happy um, that i was able to grab that a uh, second chance um, otherwise i might have had to resort to the uh, the scalpers on ebay um, so huge shout out to matthew i think he does watch these videos so uh, yeah um, thank you to him again and yeah check out his videos um, amateur film he's absolutely brilliant so i also picked up body bags now this is from screen screen factory now this was also a sale as part of the 388 films that i got from my uh, from a friend here in australia um i also picked up body bags he was selling this one as well it's a john carpenter movie i don't actually own and i i love john carpenter so uh, yeah very happy to to grab that as well as part of that order from him and last but not least from scream was the omen collection the deluxe edition or individual Omen movies, including the remake as well, with uh, Liev Schreiber. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, yeah, so not my favourite horror franchise, I'll be perfectly honest, the Omen. I, 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 the first one is a classic, and I think this is a new restoration. I think it's like 4K restoration, so it should look really nice. But um, they're not my favourite uh, favorite series, but the reason I sort of picked this up now and didn't wait for it potentially to go cheap is similar to the Halloween collection, that Halloween box set that I released a few years ago now. That went out of print pretty quickly and it goes for silly money on eBay. It really does. It goes for a huge amount. So you run the risk of sort of not picking these up straight away and they sell out. And if you do want them in the future, then you've got to pay excess for them. So I did pick up this one now and I am looking forward to giving the Omen series a go. But it's uh, like I say, it's not my uh, not my favorite of the horror sort of series but um it is a classic the first one is a classic um right so a couple of german media books 
So first up Wilderness, again another friend here in Australia, he orders uh, a few um, items from Germany so I jumped on the order and we shared shipping on this one. So he also picked up Wilderness, this came with three different covers and he picked a, a different cover to, to me. Um, similar to I guess Dog Soldiers, um, Sean Pertwee as well was in that, so um, Man vs the Wild, um, Dogs in this one. So I have seen this, I've got an old sort of UK DVD of it but uh, the picture quality on this is supposed to be pretty good so I'm looking forward to giving Wilderness another go um, so it's on blu-ray and DVD although that does look a bit like a wolf there um, yeah very very cool so and then also picked up ragman or as a lot of other people might know it as trick-or-treat so picked up this um, this one as well as part of that same order just to sort of um, make it worthwhile paying the, the shipping on this um, I didn't really enjoy this. This was my first time watching this. We've got uh, old Gene Simmons there from Kiss. Um, didn't really recognise him at first. Um, best thing about this movie is also seeing a cameo from Ozzy Osbourne playing a man of the cloth, um, basically saying about how bad heavy metal music is. <laughs> so yeah, it, um, it it had a few entertaining scenes in it, but I did uh, I did actually find it quite boring to be honest, considering how good it could have been. Um, so it is a very cool cover, um, very nice colours in it. Also a bit disappointing was the actual audio track on this. Um, it's only um, stereo sound. There's actually no 5.1 um, surround sound. There's no Dolby mix on it. It's literally so a 1080p video transfer, um, picture quality wise, but the audio is just stereo. So it sounded really bad considering it's a movie based around heavy metal and there is actually a, a sort of a music scene in there towards the end um, by the deceased rocker. Um, yeah, audio was terrible on that one. So a bit of a disappointing release um, there from NSM Records in Germany. Now, last but not least on the special labels, I picked up a tour. Now this one was from Dark Force uh, Entertainment. A lot of hate for uh, for DeFalco, um, who runs Dark Force. Um, but again, it's a glow-in-the-dark embossed slipcover similar to what they did with Breeders and um, Dead Pit as well. So they're going to keep this range going and I started. So uh, I'm going to continue, even though I'm sure it's not a great movie. Um, I've never seen it before. It does look a bit sort of Conan-esque, uh, fantasy sort of. <laughs> look at them, the muscle ripples, the six-pack there and the skimpy bikini women. Um, so I don't know. I think I'll have great fun with it. I'm sure I'm not expecting much from it, but um, I think it'll be entertaining enough. And... I am quite fond of bad movies. They're so bad, they're good. And this month, I picked up a couple of books. So this is a bit um, different for me. This is the first time I've shown off a couple of books that I actually bought. So The Bad Movie Bible, um, which is a guide to movies that are considered so bad, they're good. And we've got The Room there on the front. And um, we've also got Superman 4, Showgirls, <laughs> Troll 2. Um, and I also picked up The Definitive Guide to Horror Movies, 365 films to scare you to death. Um, Kim Newman is a good author. I like him. I've uh, followed his sort of writings in the Empire magazine for many, many years. So the reason I picked these up, guys is i had a trip to sydney for a week this month and a lot of these editions especially the jb hi-fi editions i bought while i was in sydney um i actually met up with one of my facebook friends there called john where first time we've been speaking and helping each other um grow our collections for an over a year now we actually met up and we did a bit of blu-ray shopping together so that was awesome and i also picked up these books from the bookstore um, which are helping me grow my collection i've already bought a few movies because of what i've read in there so they're on their way for a, another video now i also onto the steel books i picked up zombieland this is a 4k steel book now i watched this just before going to sydney me and my partner we watched this edition and um, because we planned to go and see zombieland 2 while we were in sydney there's a 4dx cinema there so uh, we did uh, we did catch zombieland 2 double tap at the cinema and we loved it um, and yeah, the 4K quality of this is, is absolutely brilliant. And I didn't have a copy of Zombieland in a steel book. Um, so it was nice to pick this one up from Zavi. Um, also grabbed from JB Hi-Fi in Sydney. This was in the two for 30 sale. This is the 4K steel book for the Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, the sequel to Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Um, yeah, 4K steel book in the two for 30 with 20% off. So, you know, it got it down to... Yeah, it's just, it just so cheap so cheap um yeah so that was awesome to pick up and also last but not least from zavi 
was Lockup, Sylvester Stallone's 4K Steelbook as well. So I actually watched this one last night. I actually gave this one a, a go on Saturday night. So um, pretty cool wraparound Steelbook there. Um, not Sly's best movie. It's no, uh, it's no Demolition Man. But um, yeah, it's not action packed. But if you've uh, you've never seen it before, it is really good. Um, Sylvester Stallone, sort of in prison, just wants to to do his time. He just wants to get out with no trouble. And Donald Sutherland um, is menacing as usual. He's the warden, and he's trying to make Sly's life uh, hell. He wants to keep him in prison for as long as possible. So yeah, it's a, a good movie. Um, Studio Canal released that one as well, and the picture quality, not as good as some of the John Carpenter um, Studio Canal releases, but it still looked pretty good, pretty good. Now, speaking of 4K releases, these are some other editions that I picked up this month. Rob Zombies, Three from Hell in 4K. So this has really only just started at the cinema here in Australia, so I actually imported it just so... Um, so I could own a copy, not having to go to the cinema to see it. Um, I'm not the biggest Rob Zombie fan, um, I'll be honest. I did like um, House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects, but I hated Lords of Salem and 31. And um, I'm not a big fan of his Halloween movies either, to be honest. I know he recently just came out saying that uh, he didn't have a good experience filming them, um, and I'm not a fan of them. But he's a bit of a hit and miss director for me, even though he does have a very distinct sort of gritty, grimy style, just like his music. I am looking forward to watching Three from Hell. One of my friends did go and see it at the cinema as uh, part of Monster Fest here that's going on, and he raved about it. He did enjoy it. So, yeah, picked up Three from Hell. Now, also from JB Hi-Fi in the 20% off sale, I picked up the remake of Pet Cemetery and Jordan Peele's Us. Saw Us at the cinema, didn't pick it up when it first came out, brand new, waited for it to go cheap, so got that um, in the sale. Uh, Pet Cemetery I haven't seen yet, haven't heard great things about it. I, I do believe the original, as most cases, is always considered better, but um, yeah, picked up both of those two. Also grabbed the Lego Movie 2. Um, I absolutely love the first one. And picture quality wise and 4K, the first one is incredible. It looks stunning. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching this. I haven't seen it before, but I did enjoy the first one. And I also like Lego Batman movie. So picked up Lego Movie 2. Now also in the 2 for 40s, Toy Story 2, 3, and 4. So picked up all four of these. Toy Story 4 wasn't in the sale. It was just the original three and um, but i also picked up toy story 4 to go along with it now these again two for 40 guys you're talking sort of 20 dollars each but then 20 percent off as well so you know they were they were 16 dollars and that's australian dollars you know guys if you're uh, you're watching here in uh, america and um, you're watching this video over there you know united states dollars it's it's about 11 dollars 11 united states dollars for you know 4k movies so you can't go wrong. When JB Hi-Fi do these multi-buy deals and then they have a 20% off weekend, you just, <laughs> I jump on it as I did with uh, Guillermo's Hellboy 1 and 2 as well. I picked up those um, in the sale again, 11 US dollars. Can't go wrong. Um, I'll talk more about Toy Story 4 because I did buy this brand new. Um, again, I saw this at the cinema. I was a huge fan of Toy Story. Um, I was interested to see how they were going to sort of continue on with these characters because I did think number three had the perfect ending where Andy gives away his toys. Um, I thought it was just a, an absolutely sort of transitional sort of ending from one owner to another. And I, I wondered how they were going to show you know, the progression with Bonnie and the toys potentially uh, i'm gonna get some stick for this i guess i felt it was a little bit of a cash grab personally i think three was such a perfect ending four they could have started with new toys i know around the world people absolutely adore woody and buzz and their voices tom hanks and tim allen are absolutely perfect but i think maybe for a new generation to continue toy story they could have done it with different toys um and left the trilogy as it is but saying that it did have a lot to enjoy in it as well so um yeah i mean it's nice to see those characters back on screen that's why people like to watch sequels they like to see more from those characters um, in different situations um so i didn't hate toy story 4 i did enjoy my time with it but i just kind of felt personally i think 3 had a perfect ending so um yeah i picked up those in 4k um now what should we start with Collector's Edition box sets. Okay, so from the Netherlands, John Wick 3, even though it doesn't say 3 on the box, it's a proper wood box with a opening clip, hinges. So this is very cool. This is for Parabellum. So this is one of the 
second editions of John Wick 3 that I've got, and I do have more coming, so you know, you'll be seeing more of John Wick in the uh, coming videos. Um, so inside this wooden box, if I just open it up, is in typical fashion, we've got a pencil. We actually see a death by pencil this time. Um, we've got one of the gold coins as well. Um, inside we have got an absolutely gorgeous steel book. Now this steel book, the artwork on it is absolutely beautiful. I'll just lift that out. Um, we've also got a pad as well from the Continental Hotel, so that goes well with the pencil. And this awesome steel book. I'll just close the box down so I can move this back. Here we go. Yeah, so when the, again the light shines on this steel book, the colours, the blues and the purples and the neons, it's so awesome. So cool. And again the back artwork as well. So, yeah, great movie. I spoke about this one last time, so I won't speak too much about it. I did have a comment from one viewer who, <laughs> who ripped into me saying that he hated it. Um, so I won't speak too much about the movie. I've said my piece on it. I did enjoy it, and I'll watch, I'll watch John Wick's until, the, uh, until Keanu can't make them anymore. But, uh, yeah, this box is awesome, and this one was from the Netherlands. So it's the um, only place you can buy this one, actually, in a wooden box. So it's a very cool addition to that steelbook. So that steelbook, again, may have been released in France. I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. But uh, I think you could actually get that steelbook in other countries. Now, next up, again, from JB Hi-Fi in the 20% off sale, I picked up Spider-Man Far From Home, the next Marvel movie to be released um, on home entertainment. Um, yeah, so this is the 4K edition, and it did actually come with a little sort of a uh, little figure, a little model of Peter there in his stealth suit. Um, so yeah, very cool. I again watched this at the cinema. I did enjoy this movie, so uh, it's nice to own it and continue the Marvel range. So that was very cool. Got that with 20% off. And also grabbed from the UK, Apocalypse Now. So this probably, or not probably, it is the best um, Vietnam movie sort of ever made. Definitely the most popular, the most famous. So many different editions on this as well. I mean, I haven't actually digged into this one yet. It also released in a steel book, but I, uh, I decided to get the digipack because typically I do love steel books. I love the artwork primarily on steel books when it's done well. Um, but for me, if there's different editions like steel books and digipacks, I feel you do get more for your money when you buy a digipack. So as a, as a fan of collector's editions and limited editions, I'll pretty much always choose to go for the digipack if there's both. Um, and this, it's, <laughs> it's absolutely massive. It just keeps going and going. Um, so I'll probably never find the time to actually watch every edition that's released on this. Um, I mean, what is the six discs? Um, the final cut, the redux cut. Um, there's just so many. The Heart of Darkness. Again, it's a pretty good uh, documentary. But um, yeah, I'll never get time to watch all of those discs. But um, I'll do a bit of research and uh, find out which version is the best one to watch. Probably the final cut, I think. I might have actually even seen the Redux cut. I think that got released on Blu-ray a few years ago, a fair few years ago now. But um, yeah, I've heard good things again about this transfer from Studio Canal. They seem to be killing it at the moment with these older uh, movies releasing them. So yeah, very, very cool. Um, so looking forward to giving that one a go. And also picked up one of my favourite Tim Burton movies, Sleepy Hollow. And it is uh, in a sort of digi book. And it's got uh, it's actually got the novel the actual um, washington irving the actual proper legend of sleepy hollow story from start to finish which is a very nice touch um cannot believe this is 20 years old i mean this is incredible this is a 20th anniversary edition for the movie I absolutely love it. I think it's one of Tim Burton's sort of last classic dark fairy tales. Um, and it's just absolutely stunning. I've seen it so many times now, I could probably start to recite it. <laughs> but uh, uh, Tim Burton, again, is one of my favourite directors. And um, yeah, I absolutely love this edition. The uh, The cover is beautiful and it was so cheap, brand new um, from Amazon. It was uh, unlike some other sort of newer releases that can be quite expensive. This was, uh, was actually pretty decently priced. So very happy to grab that. And I watched it when it arrived as well. I watched it again one evening. Now in another book edition is Mean Girls. Mean Girls got the, got the awesome treatment. So this released in the burn book, which you see actually in the movie, um, the girls, the, the plastics, the, uh, the nasty things they write in that sort of diary they've got of all of their sort of schoolmates, well, not mates, but the school um, 
attendees and um, this has got so many sort of extras in it it's got a huge booklet it's got art cards it's even got one of those um puzzles that you can actually make <laughs> not that i ever will but um yeah i mean this is so well actually designed compared you know to some of these it's they've they've got the actual writing and the images from the book you actually see in the movie they've nailed it so um yeah i didn't ever expect mean girls to sort of get to uh, get this sort of treatment but um I did uh, I did actually quite enjoy this movie. Um seen it twice now. I saw it years ago on DVD and then once again now on Blu-ray when this arrived. Um to me it's a bit like pitch perfect uh, on the surface and from the sort of promotional material it looks like it could just be aimed at girls, teenage girls, but underneath it's actually got quite a lot of dark humor in it, some quite uh, some quite funny moments. So, yeah, that was cool to pick up and again that was quite cheap. I got that from Zavi, um brand new and for a collector's item, yeah, it's it's very cool. Now, on to another very awesome collector's item was the House of Hitchcock edition. So this has a lenticular cover on the front, although it doesn't have too much movement. It's got just a little bit of depth there with the birds and different sort of scenes from some of his movies. We've got Rear Window there and we've got Hitchcock in the in the entranceway. So it's modelled on the, the Bates home. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's very cool. Um, so this has... Not every one of Hitchcock's most famous movies, most sort of popular movies. Um, this released here in Australia, and it only had, I think, 14 movies. Um, I got this one from America, which has 15 movies. And then I learned after that that there was actually a UK edition released with 18 movies. So it's got to be down to rights issues and different sort of studios, I guess, in different countries. But um, yeah, I was happy that this set, uh, this box arrived mint condition from Amazon. Uh, a little disappointing that the actual side um, sort of opening the door opening it's not magnetic it doesn't sort of have anything to keep it closed it just sort of like bends open so that's a little bit of a little bit of a um sort of oversight from the makers but it's uh, it's not a deal breaker it's still very cool inside we've got the four cases and lots of memorabilia you know there's um, there's um, door hangers from the Bates Motel. There's blueprints for uh, for all sorts of things. Again, from Psycho. There's so many cool memorabilia letters from the studios to Hitchcock about various releases. Um, and Hitchcock has some of the greatest sort of suspense, horror, thriller movies that that cinema's ever seen. I mean, I absolutely adore Rope. I think it's incredible. Um, Rear Window again. I mentioned that. I am looking forward to watching Rear Window again. Psycho. I've seen so many times. I could recite it. But, um, yeah, so many awesome movies, and these are going to be incredible to do. It's not my first Hitchcock collection, I'll be perfectly honest with you guys, it's not my first one, but when I actually watch these, and I am planning on watching these, having a Hitchcock marathon, um, one a night, um, it will be the first time I've done that, I am, even though I do have a few of his box sets, I just sort of dipped into them every now and again. This one I'm planning on actually sitting through and doing each movie one a night, so very, very looking forward to that, very cool. And last but not least, in the limited editions, and I know a lot of people did pick this up because it is so cool, is the Scarface, the World Is Yours limited edition. So it's got the model there from uh, from Tony's house. Um, yeah, this is awesome. Um, Brian De Palma's probably most celebrated movie. Um, so inside is the 4K edition. I just take that out. So the 4K edition of the world is yours scarface edition limited edition um yeah so uh, heard great things about the pitch quality on this one haven't actually delved into this one yet this arrived while i was actually in sydney so um we only just got back a couple of days ago so um a lot of these uh, sort of did arrive while i was away so it was nice to sort of open these all up when uh, when i got back um but for me this edition if i can take it out now it's all about this model that it came with so as cool as the box is, I won't be displaying it in the box. I will display this model out of the box. If I can be, be gentle with it, even though it is a cool box. Um, I'll be displaying it next to my Scarface Humidor edition. Now that uh, that is an absolute monster of a box set. And it'll be cool to actually have this model next to it. 
so it's pretty heavy i mean it, from the pictures online it looked like it was going to be relatively cheap hollow plastic but it does have some weight to it to be honest i mean it's not <laughs> it's clearly not solid gold uh, not for the price but it uh, yeah it looks awesome i think uh, on the shelf you know especially guys you've you've seen my collection now i'm sure watching these videos you know uh, i'm a big lover of these limited editions having it on the shelf displayed like this yeah it's going to be great and it's a movie definitely worthy of something like this i think it's an absolutely brilliant uh, movie um al pacino is just incredible in it um so i am very happy to get this um some people may think it's cheap and tacky and they don't like this sort of thing but uh, you know in this day and age as more digital um movies um are releasing over um physical it's nice that these editions are getting made especially on a format like 4k that not uh, not a lot of people have adopted it so um yeah it's um it's very cool so happy to have that one in the collection now guys we are kind of getting towards the end and i do have one bust that arrived that i do want to display for you um at the end of the video but uh, i also picked up a lot of cheap dvds from jb hi-fi as well when they were in the sale two for 20 with 20 percent off so yeah i'm i won't go through why i bought them i'll just show you what i got so summer of 84 the domestics miss barla I like Gina Rodriguez, so I'm looking forward to this one. That didn't actually get a Blu-ray release here, so I had to get it on DVD. Um, the Night Eats the World. I think that might be a French movie, French zombie movie. Um, looks very similar to um, um, As Above, So Below, with like the upside down um, imagery there on the box of the Eiffel Tower. Um, the Possession of Hannah Grace. Stephen Dwarf. Good to see him back. Jackals. The Hate You Give, again, no Blu-ray release here. I think that actually might have got a 4K release in the States, but um, yeah, just DVD here in Australia. The Festival, big fan of the Inbetweeners, so I'm hoping that's going to give some good laughs. The Festival, I'm sure it's probably not very good. Um, Vox Lux, Natalie Portman and Jude Law, again, DVD only here, so I'm not sure if that did get any sort of uh, high-def releases around the world, but we only got the DVD. Dev Patel in The Wedding Guest. Overboard, now that probably a remake of the uh, Goldie Horn movie um, so um, Anna Faris can uh, can often be quite good for a laugh so that and you can can you ever forgive me I think this might have been the one was it Oscar winner or they got nominated I'm not too sure but um, yeah I'm not usually a huge fan of Melissa McCarthy but I picked that up cheap as well I do like Richard E. Grant so yeah those were the DVDs that arrived or picked up I should say now guys last but not least i think that is everything other than this bust edition so i will first of all bring over the box for you it is the texas chainsaw massacre 2 now this is a french bust um, it's not often the french release busts i'm usually talking more about the german busts um so this one guys <laughs> and if you watched last month's video you'll still have seen that i picked up um the texas chainsaw massacre remake and the texas chainsaw bust from germany and then this month i pick up the texas chainsaw massacre 2 bust so you, you wait a while for uh, for one and then two turn up um this one's a little bit more unique this one was from a company now i'm gonna try and pronounce it uh, forgive me if i get it uh, get it wrong le chat kifume um, i'm not sure if i'm saying that right uh, apologies if i'm not um they m released or were going to release just a hundred of these in the world so i'll move the box and i will bring over the bust and here it is so guys i will be perfectly honest it is not the best looking most detailed finish i have ever seen in a bust but it is super limited like they were only going to release a hundred of these and i learned afterwards from a friend they did a bit more sort of digging into it um and i think they discovered that there was actually only 90 released um the company i think it was nova box i'm not too sure the company that was tasked with actually making these busts for the company um, they only delivered 90 of them. They weren't actually happy with the quality themselves for what they produced. So um, they decided, no, we're not going to make any more. We're just going to stick with the 90. So some people's orders were cancelled, unfortunately. Not everybody who wanted one got one. So even though it is not the nicest looking sort of detail bust, it just looks like it's just covered in tomato sauce. Um, 
I, I, I love it. I really do. I think it's cheap and nasty. But uh, the fact there's now only 90 in the world, there's not many collectors that would have this in the collection. And the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 is such a crazy movie, the one with Dennis Hopper. You know, I, for it to get a bust treatment like this is, is pretty cool. And um, at the back here, you see it's got the, uh, like, typically all of the best busts do. It's got the disc slotted. Ooh slid out a bit too fast it's got the uh, it's got the box actually uh, in there which is very cool and it's actually a digi book as well so um if we just open that up turn uh, turn leather face back around so you're not staring at his back and then inside it's uh, got the discs in this uh, this cool digi pack edition so yeah very very cool and it's uh, super limited, super, super limited. So um, this one actually passed me by when it uh, when it was first announced. I, uh, I'd i never heard of the company before that released it. I'd never seen pictures of this. It was only when I saw a friend on Facebook put a post up about it saying, you know, has anyone seen this before? I was like, nope. So I had to jump on and do my research on it, see if I could find any for sale. And luckily I did find one guy in France who was selling one for a good price. Um, so I got in contact with him. We were talking backwards and forwards, and uh, he was a fantastic guy. He, uh, you know, I told him all about my collection, and he was happy to send this. So well packed, it was bomb proof, literally bomb proof, to come all the way from France to Australia. So, you know, big shout out to him as well. He was a very cool guy to deal with. So, yeah, very very happy. Got my hands on this, and there's going to be a lot of collectors out there that do would would like this just for how limited it is just for how limited it is so that is very cool so slide that back in there pop that back in the bottom and that is it guys that is it so back to the same structure starting with the premiums and then ending with the bust so yeah happy how that turned out um hope you are too hope you enjoyed the video again this month and uh again leave me comments guys i like uh, reading them all i do try and reply to them all when i can uh, if i can um and if you have any questions please you know just ask away and uh, yeah all going well i will film my november video at the end of the month so guys i hope you have enjoyed this once again and thank you for tuning in i appreciate it okay cheers bye